Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, the Tan Superman. It's your boy, Jamari, back here on the main channel today. I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys face-to-face -face using this webcam, so I hope you've been doing good. I hope you've still been drinking your water. I hope you've still been eating all those vegetables. I have bad dream about vegetables chasing me. The video today is actually going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be kind of live reacting to this 5 Minute Crafts YouTube channel. And if you somehow don't know what 5 Minute Crafts is, well, you must either be living under a rock or you don't have internet access or something because I see these videos on everywhere from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram and of course on YouTube. I mean, hell, I even went on Friends the other day and I saw people sharing it on there. So they're really moving out here. And honestly, in my opinion, it should be called 5 Minute Trash because every time I see these little videos, these little crafts, these little DIY do it yourself it's always just a bunch of little rinky dink stuff that no one would ever want to put in their house or use in their car or it's just extremely inefficient like it doesn't even make sense to do most of these things but who knows maybe today's video is going to change my mindset maybe today's video is just going to change my whole life a little five minute craft is going to alter everything speaking of that let me know if you guys want me to try any of these little five minute crafts at home see if they actually take five minutes i'm going to be there with my timer and shit. that would be a dope video so let me know down below in the comments if y'all want to see that and just to kind of further emphasize how big of a channel 5 Minute Crafts is, just check out this little Wikipedia page they got going on. 5 Minute Crafts is a Cypress-based American do-it-yourself style YouTube channel. Created in 2016, the channel has received considerable media attention for its DIY videos. As of July 2019, the channel has received over 14.6 billion views. Jesus Christ, is that a lot of views. These 5 Minute Crafts are making bank. And they rank as the third most subscribed on the platform with over 58 million subscribers. Jeez, I didn't even know that they were that big. So it literally goes T-Series, PewDiePie, and then 5 Minute Crafts. That's how big these motherfuckers are. That's how much money they're making off of these 5 Minute Crafts. So without further ado, let's go check this out. This is 5 Minute Craps. I mean, uh, 5 Minute Crafts. Yo, I feel like I look like a Puerto Rican DJ with these headphones on for real. I like how this shit just starts out with some Japanese music and a white woman doesn't even make any sense. What is she about to do? She just dropped an iPad on her face. What kind of hangers are those? I've never seen a hanger do that. But every time I try to even bend my hanger a little bit, it just snaps. Okay, this is some of the most head-ass stuff I've ever seen in my life. Who really needs to lay down and watch the screen like that, first of all? That's not even a normal way to watch an iPad. And either way, just doing all this, you either asking for a black eye, a busted nose, or a busted-ass lip, dude, when this thing falls from that great height onto your stupid face. It doesn't even look good. Look, you're covering up half the screen with a hanger, chick. Cozy. She's cozy. Oh no, you got flour on your phone. So are all these hacks going to involve hangers? Because uh, I know something that you're going to hang next if I have to watch much more of any of these videos. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? So you're just supposed to walk around and balance that shit and be moving around cooking and doing all that just so you don't get flour on your phone? How about you just put the fucking phone away or you put it on the shelf or something or you just don't pour flour on it? And what if you don't got a big old rack to hold your phone in place? Is this still gonna work out? And she really needed to do this just to learn how to crack a fucking egg? Alright, that one is kind of dope, but honestly, just go buy a shoe rack. Why would you want to have this ghetto shit in your house, man? It looks so stupid. And not only that, but your shoe game is so whack. Jesus Christ, get a nice pair of shoes, lady. The only place these shape-ups belong is in the trash. And they aren't even real shape-ups, they're just knockoffs. Can you imagine going in someone's bathroom and this is actually how they have their toilet paper set up? And also, it's facing the wrong way. It's supposed to be the other way on the wall for easy access. What, you just want it rubbing against this nasty-ass wall the whole time? I mean, you're better off just sticking the whole roll on this thing than doing this cheap ghetto sh**. Where the f*** are they getting these hangers that bend like this? I'm serious, bro. No. Dude, if you get into a car accident, this shit is gonna go through someone's eye and kill them. Who wants to be in the back seat with this big thing on there, you know? Just put the groceries in the back of the car. It's not that hard. They don't have to be held like a fucking baby carriage, okay? Just throw them back there. Jesus Christ, you got all this space back here. I can see it. Old weak-ass hanger probably gonna break any second now. What, am I gonna put a watermelon in that bag? Here they go. 
Those thieves, they just walk right up and take your iPhone right out of your purse. Oh, so the extra strap, that's going to stop the thief. You know, he's not just going to rip it off of your poor little innocent woman arm, is he? With this tattooed hand. They're like, hey, we need a man with a tattooed hand to play the thief in this video. Who's got us? Don't worry, we're rolling in the moolah. We got tons of f***ing views. We got billions of views, dog. We're about to take over PewDiePie, bro. We're trying to take over the world over here. Five minute crafts. Oh, don't chip your tooth. Can't open that walnut. Oh, you're going to fall down. Are you serious, bro? There was around a million other ways you could have cracked that walnut, you know? All you really gotta do is set it on the ground and step on that bitch until it cracks. And they couldn't have told her to clean her fingernails before this shoot? What is all that little yellow gunk underneath there? That's disgusting. You know, it's funny, that's the face that most girls make when you bust a nut. Nope, can't just have a regular tank top. I need to uh, change it up. Ah, that actually looks pretty good. I like that one. Next, just take it all off. Sunflower seeds. Oh, I just keep spitting them all over my shirt. Mom, I'm scared. I gotta go the f home. What is this? She looks like she's literally trying to commit suicide in the back of this car. Is this really the best way to do it? You couldn't just open the bag and spit the sunflower seeds out, you lazy f if I was this girl right here, I would actually just cover these three holes and kill her for being so f***ing stupid. I like how the girl with the bag on her face almost suffocating herself is looking at her like she's the crazy one. Whoa, it's coming off. Are you kidding me, dog? This seems like a really good way to either start a fire or burn the shit out of your hair. I can't really tell which one it's gonna do. You can't just blow dry your hair like a regular person. A pesky bra strap, it just keeps coming up. It's really not that serious. No one cares if they see your shoulder, if they see your bra strap. This ain't some type of middle school dress code, chick. I wanna know how she got all the on her hat. Was she eating ass with his hat on or something? Some nasty ass hoe with her little fingernails, yo. I ain't getting over that. Your little busted ass construction worker fingernail. Get that shit out of here, dog. Looks like a rolling paper. Looks like a king size rolling paper she's putting in there. Well, how about this? You just washed the fucking hat. All right, that's disgusting. Hard to be a woman, hard to wear heels. Dude, what the fuck is up with this chick and all these cats being around her? I guess they might be attracted to the nasty ass fish smell going on in her dirty p Or possibly these dirty ass feet, or even like I said before, her nasty ass fingernails. But I guess maybe she's really poor, maybe she's just living off these 5 minute craft $20 checks. We swear this is gonna be a big break, Lisa. Dude, one time I got my finger jammed in the door and they made me do this with my fingers. It's called the buddy system. Ladies, I don't know nothing about wearing heels, so let me know. Would that really help you in uh, a situation where your toe hurts? I right, a little extra support for your little ass toe. How about you start with cleaning those nasty ass feet before you throw them in this pair of heels? Oh yeah, she's dancing around now. Oh yeah, because there's nothing I love more in my bag than a bunch of your air and your nasty ass spit that probably came through that straw. It's really not that serious to get something vacuum packed like this. And honestly, it's not even vacuum packed. So you might as well just leave it in a, you know, air filled baggie. What is that air really going to hurt these fucking M&Ms? They got a shelf life of like three years, dog. Who the f*** would want to hang their clothes on this? This is like some shit that you see around a construction site, not something that you want to have hanging in your room. It's like those dudes that go and steal stop signs or streets signs you know after you stole that stop sign a little grandma came driving through there a little too fast and got hit and now you're responsible son stop messing with those street signs boys i seen y'all out there boy just the ghettoness okay so i literally have no idea how this has 15,000 likes and only 1.5 thousand dislikes that means 90 percent of the people who watch this video said oh my god i love these hacks i'm gonna do some of these hacks you know i guarantee no one no one ever even does any of this i don't i guess people are just entertained by how stupid it is so literally after watching that video all of my suspicions were confirmed and i'm almost certain that the next plan is some type of world domination what do you guys think about these five minute crafts? Would you ever try any of this stuff at home? Be careful kids, your parents are gonna whoop your ass for being on that ghetto 
Nah, but for real, let me know what you guys think about the video down below. Let me know if you want me to personally try out some of these five minute crafts and see me get extra frustrated by the ghetto ness. As always, I just want to say a big thank you for watching. Please go follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. That's at Jamari Speaks. I'm doing my best to be more active over there, but as y'all always know, I'm very active in the DMs. I'm always responding to a bunch of y'all. I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Please drop a big like, as you know, it really helps me in the algorithm. Please subscribe today, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.